Yep. What's going on, LFA TV? It's your boy Luis, and you're watching another episode on LFA TV. Thanks for tuning in. Um, as you guys can see, it's a weekend, and um, me and Mr. Gallardo at the shop today on our off days, and we have the Supra in here. And uh, for those of you that have been along enough in the channel, you guys might remember his his uh, his 300 ZX. That's been one Jay Z swapped. Um, I know a lot of you guys might have forgotten about this that he might, that he had it, but today it's in the shop, and you guys might be wondering what the heck he's gonna be doing. And the idea is that this engine is gonna be coming out, or so that's the plan. And you're like, well, why is Mr. Gallardo doing that? Oh, by the way, by the way, <laughs> uh, forgive us for that. Anyways, uh, yeah, he's going to be doing a LS swap and he's taking out the 1J. He said he wants some bottom end torque. But um, just kidding, guys. If you guys remember a while back, um, this was like a weekend thing where he bought the engine like, uh, for example, like on a Friday. He fit everything, he mounted everything in, like on a Saturday. And on a Sunday, he was basically turning, turning it over. So the idea now is that he wants to take this engine out and he wants to clean up the engine bay a bit more, shave any holes and just kind of make it look a lot prettier. And uh, yeah, just button everything up a lot nicer. And what do you know, another W58. Huh? How about that? W58's coming out strong. But as you guys can see from me, uh, it's pretty much done. I'm, I'm, I still have, I've been lazy to be honest. I haven't picked up the front cam seals or my valve cover gaskets, but the uh, the head is pretty much ready to go, ready to start routing everything, mounting everything that needs to be mounted. Um, really, to be honest, I just haven't really done much. Uh, one crazy thing is, I was looking over the head gasket and I kind of made a little gruesome discovery. You guys see this? You guys see that right there? Yep. This is the reason why a lot of people highly advise to not run a just a SAFC and a Lexus airflow meter. They highly recommend doing obviously a standalone, but as you guys can see here, uh, either cylinder five or six got went lean on a pull. I'm assuming and did this to the head gasket. I started noticing a little bit too towards the end before I pulled the head out that sometimes I was uh, having to fill up the radiator a bit. But I'm assuming this is why. Hopefully everything's okay and there's only one way to find out and that's when that's has everything on. But uh, no worries. We'll keep on moving along. She would make fun of me. <laughs> she, would, she would make fun of me. It's like, you're a pussy, bro. So, you know, we all have our phobias, <laughs> as you can see, this car was sitting outside for a while and Mr. Gallardo has the broom and the brake cleaner. I don't mess around with black riddles. Hell no. <laughs> He's checking for spiders. Qu coincidentally... Look what I have. Black little killer right here. <laughs> coincidentally, he was just telling me that he had a nightmare last night. He said there was a big old spider that fell on his back. <laughs> so he's not taking that chance today. He's checking everything. <laughs> That's funny. All right, back to business. If you guys notice anything on the side of the block, or if you guys notice that something's missing, I do not have my stock knock sensors on here. Um, once again, going back to previous videos, 
if you guys remember, when I was buying parts to get ready for the ECU Master, um, what I got here are, now there's a lot of cars that kind of run these knock sensors. Uh, these are Bosch knock sensors. And here's the part number for those of you that ask. Part number right there, you could pause it. But uh, these are basically GM knock sensors or they come on a lot of different cars. Um, but in order for these to work, I had to get these uh, special studs that kind of bolt up to the side of the block. And then on top of it, you basically get your connectors and have these run with the ECU Master. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on right now. And also I know a lot of you guys sometimes ask me to talk more when I'm doing some of this stuff. And you know, it's gonna get, we're coming down to the parts where everything's gonna be a lot more technical. So um, in these next videos, there might be a lot of stuff of just me talking and explaining and me learning on the way because I'm learning as I go in this, pro in this project. Just remember, I'm not an expert, guys. I know a lot of you guys ask for part numbers. There's part numbers, and that's for the studs. So, yep, there you go. You have your knock sensor, and then you have your stud that goes in like this. And this basically bolts up to the block. Another thing guys, there's also has been a change of plans. Um, if you guys remember the previous video, the, uh, the guy, uh, Steven, the one that actually sold me the washers for the head, um, I had mentioned to him that I was gonna be running uh, aftermarket fuel lines and he's like, why, uh, you don't need to. Um, if you guys don't know, he actually has a, he had a seven, or he still has a 7M that made uh, 890 horsepower and this was, all on stock fuel lines the only thing he did was in the back of the trunk so the only thing that he did in the back of the trunk basically right here I still haven't put a lid on this anyways but anyways uh, he actually removed these and he did uh, dash six uh, a in lines from uh, basically the the line right there and he welded a uh, an adapter that kind of welds to the tip and then dash six lines um, to the actual pump so he did one two three yeah so he changed those out and he used he's using the stock metal uh, fuel lines that go all the way to the front so change of plans I'm actually gonna be using my stock fuel lines for my e85 setup so this time it's not oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this time is not coming through the top the whole subframe and everything's coming down so, uh, Mr. Gallardo has everything kind of set. So you guys see the pallets down here. Right now, the bolts were kind of getting loose and starting to shake a little bit. So, we all backing up. It's coming out. Look who showed up in the building. Got Mr. 4G63T Addict and Curly Fab. He's hard at work in your guys' manifolds. <laughs> Got Mr. Water, water Cooled Performance over there. That's just in your manifold to get clean like that. Send these left to go. Pull that, pull that. Just don't plug it. Just don't plug it. Pull the what you said? Uh, it turns the stick. It will turn like if you do three stickers, they turn them one to one. So when you cut it, they actually cut the handers really. They're and it's out. What's 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 next, Mr. Glardo? He's tired. He's tired. <laughs> 
He spent the first hour looking for spiders under the car. We got your car for your life. Curly Fab over here doing some magic. Trying to set up the Harbor Freight TIG. How's it coming out? It goes all right. How's it doing for a thousand bucks, Curly? Go clean. It's all right. Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, uh, take weather, right? Yeah. He doesn't have really good like art control, but I don't know about good. Curly Fab laying down some dimes. It's a smart tongue for Neptune, it's a good one. Not bad for the Harbor Freight. There you go, bro. Yeah, it's got uh, I got a finish in the cooler pipes. It's got the Borg EFR. It's on Mega Squirt. Uh, it's a fully built motor. It's on uh, I think 440 injectors. It said I'll I'll tune it. It'll probably make 300, 325. Uh, You guys ever seen one of these before? So we're arguing because we don't know who is the strongest. Definitely no, that guy. Hey, it's definitely not him. What are you doing? Curly wants, to lift, Curly wants to lift it by himself. Ready? I do here. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Come yeah, on. Oh, 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 oh. All we have to do is just get the, just lift it. So we can, what do you want to get, get the pallet off that deal? Or turn the shit away. Like, turn it around. Oh, okay. so, wait, <laughs> Yo, I got an engine stand. 
All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for today. We just did like a random video. It's like a weekend, a Sunday, and we all just kind of came to hang out and do a little bit on our cars, not too much. Mr. Gallardo took out the 1J. As you guys can see over here, it's on the floor. It's pretty much ready to go. So he's gonna begin to clean up the engine bay and all that stuff. But um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for this short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I hope you guys don't mind the random vlogs and stuff like that of us just kind of hanging out, messing around. So uh, yeah, other than that, I'm slacking on the Super. There's a lot of stuff that I gotta do. I gotta finish. But uh, more videos, more videos to come. So all right, stay tuned, guys. Peace out.